So, Daniel, you finished the tournament, the Deutschland Grand Prix uh, of the Sparkassen Chess Trophy with five and a half out of nine points some minutes ago. Uh, how do you feel about your tournament? Uh, I'm feeling quite well, first of all, because I finished the tournament. <laughs> and uh, plus two, of course, when someone told me before the tournament uh, that I will finish with what plus, uh, was plus two undefeated, I would say, every time. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I'm quite happy about my result. Okay. So, we have to uh, watch how the other games end, uh, which place it will be in the end. Probably yeah. not uh, for the sole, sole winner, but uh, first okay. three places should if be... I, if I tie for the first and then I'm third because I didn't lose the single game, it's okay for yes. me. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, we wanted to take a short look at the game yesterday um, of you uh, with white pieces against Andreas Heimann. And um, yeah, we have the end game you reached after 26 moves. Um, maybe you can explain how did you win this, this end game, which looks like uh, for amateur players at least it's the uh, same material and it's not that bad for black. Okay, first of all, I didn't think that my position was better. At mm -hmm. the moment I thought, okay, I was quite happy how it ended up, but I realized, okay, it most likely uh, it's equal, but maybe black have some small problems. Mm -hmm. But for instance, I didn't see the move knight d7 because I thought it's weak because of rook c6 and then, uh, and then just he can play knight f8 and simply switch. So that would have been a good defense. Yeah, just switch in the block modus and then push pawn till i3. Okay, and now your bishop is not that strong like... Okay, I can like put it somewhere but the problem is I, what, I, I cannot attack anything mm -hmm. on, on the king side and on the queen side okay. even so it's just equal uh, but he played e5 yeah e5 i think okay it's not really giving much sense but still some okay now my ch my bishop comes to e6 i'm not sure that uh, bishop f5 was, was necessary but i saw this okay put my no. right yes rook on c7 bishop on e6 cannot be bad mm. and uh, here he started to play it a little bit strange, I must admit. For instance, rook d2. I don't get it. Why on earth, especially on d2? So if you want, you can play at least on b2. So you can protect uh, after rook a7, for example, you can protect with like, okay. rook b5. Yeah, so he instance. gave away the a5 pawn. And uh, um, here I was completely shocked when he played e4, I must admit. Mm -hmm. I think uh, maybe it's not losing, but uh, like he's taking the important place from his knight. First of all, I saw that knight e4 directly is almost a draw. And uh, I mean, okay, I can try something. They had some ideas like f4 or whatsoever. And the idea is if I take on a5 instead of f4, let's say, yeah, uh, I take here. He takes with a knight, I take, and he can simply play king e7. And okay. uh, not so clear what to do. I mean, okay, I'm the pawn up, but uh, it's also wrong corner. Mm -hmm. If we exchange the rooks, it's yes, like yes. almost no chances to win. He will block on some black square. And, okay. then, uh, yeah, I... and um, after he played e4, which is maybe not losing, but it's like for many ways, it's really a strange move because he sought a lot in this position. And as I said already, he takes the spot from his knight and also puts the pawn on a white square, which mm -hmm. gives me always the attacking chances. Yes, yes. And now um, maybe I don't even need to take, so maybe I can play like h3 first because he cannot protect this pawn anyway. So just What's the point of h3? Uh, the point is to free my bishop, so I like he cannot play knight g4, yeah. and I can move my bishop okay. on on the uh, um, a2 j diagonal. Yeah. <laughs> let's say if I play h3, let's say rook d6, and then j play bishop c4. Rook c6 is impossible because yes, of yes. bishop b5. And then I take and return on the seven rank. Okay. And suddenly yeah. it looks like a very good endgame for you. Yeah. Yes, of course. I yes. mean, just a pawn up. The e4 is weak, so my yes. pieces are active. But okay, I took the pawn because I see the sequence what happened in the game. E7, bishop c7, bishop, bishop c8. Knight g4. Yes. Okay, so I can also play bishop h3 as well. But I thought, okay, bishop c8 because I said rook e5. And here was like king d6 was another shock for me, I must admit, because I thought, okay. 
okay. <laughs> what's going on here. I thought he have to play, I think, king f8 or king f7 first, mm -hmm. I don't know. Because his rook and game? Uh, I, rook I think check. the rook game is lost, but not how I play it. Okay, g4, I think it's correct move. King e5, and then, like, g5. It wasn't played too quickly. I didn't have that much time at the moment. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I saw that I see the right idea, but the idea is not right, unfortunately. <laughs> But so it have, worked out in the game, yeah, with your pawns later on. Uh, D5, it H. worked, but with his help, I okay, think. Okay. So I think the right move was rook f7. It was uh, also like my first intention to yeah. play this move, because he have to go passive rook h8 here. Um, <clears throat> and the trick is that I'm just playing like king g2. Mm -hmm. And at some moment he have to play h5 or h6 because okay maybe king... maybe not uh, maybe king g2 is wrong um, uh, i can oh sorry this i can play check first so yeah. put his king, king to d5. d5 and then just play this move and now <laughs> the only to make a move. yes the may maybe only thing he can do is to play h5 here mm. like in the long term because yeah. otherwise i just will move the king yeah, walk. push the pounds and uh, must be lost so let's say h5 and then i think i can play g5 and and here i get the position Hmm. What after like 40 minutes thinking, I wanted to get in, in the game, okay. but here I get it easily because yes. it's like it, the only moves are here. But uh, this position, it's not so clear for me. Let's say he plays. Oh, he cannot stay rook j8 here. Okay, he have to protect on the sixth rank. So after rook j8, you play king g3. Yes, so because it's a tsuk tsuk so I will play. But okay, he can play something like this. Let's say king g3, and then let's say this move. Mm -hmm. So waiting for king f4, then rook f8 check. After rook g7, rook b6. Yes, rook g7, rook b6, and then I can play king f4. And I don't know, maybe rook b2. Mm -hmm. um, still not so clear. I mean, should be winning somehow. But I, I don't know, I just, uh, okay. I, I couldn't see how it worked. Maybe I, I should have rook on instead of king f4. I don't know, I, I couldn't see the clear win, yes. the position, but the problem is that I played this move, oh, sorry, g5, yes. And uh, I saw that he plays uh, like in the game, rook h8, rook g8, wanted to, he wants to play h6, so mm -hmm. change one power, so I play rook f4. So the trick here was that uh, I thought he had exactly rook f4, rook c and king g2 and uh, I thought that he have to play h6 okay or this was his idea I thought then I play rook h4 Just to play uh, force h4. him to play h5 go back. I go back but now he can play uh, he cannot protect on the 6th no. rank the pawn end game is lost because I just play h4, f3 and mm -hmm. go run with the king from this side but here, a long, a long time, I cannot find the win because I say h4, this, rook g7, he just stays. And it's very okay. passive, he have only one move, like after king g3, he cannot move the king. Yes, yes. But I don't really see how I win, actually. Uh, oh, sorry, king g3, yes, rook g7. And the only idea what I saw was to play this move. He plays, let's say, this. And then I have to give check. King e6. Let's say okay, it doesn't matter. I can play this, 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 check, this. I think the pawn end game is a draw. After rook f6, yeah. Yes, take take, and he just yes. waits till I push the e pawn and then gives this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, it's a draw. So I have to play this. Now this move, and okay, now I can, let's say, put my rook on f4, just like rook f6 check and play rook f4 and try to push e pawn, but he goes to the side mm -hmm. and gives side checks. Okay, maybe, maybe rook a7, king f6? Or is How king f6? 
Oh, you mean this move? Yeah, the, here's the problem that after this move... Oh, no, sorry, I cannot play this. I'm not in time. Can you have six? Or? Yeah, I'm not. I thought that I have time to play rook f4 after king f6, but king is already on f6. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe this is uh, this. This was my idea. I okay. was yesterday on the way home. I, I didn't check it with computer, so I discussed it a little bit with Kasim. Yes, and maybe yes, maybe how it's won. But unfortunately, I spent so much time on this. But he plays just the okay, right move. One. Rook a, rook a8. Yes, rook a1, h4. He can goes back. back. Yes, and here I started like a lot of stuff, but not not so clear. But oh, okay, here. So I I missed one moment here. I couldn't calculate till to the end in this position. Maybe rook f seven is winning. So he have to play check this, 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 and king is six or mm -hmm. king d five. Let's say king is six. Take, take G7. this. Rook f3, take, and king e5. I think it must be winning, but mm -hmm. I'm not so sure. Let's say king g4, this, and rook g8. Let's say rook g1. Okay, you are. Okay, this oh, looks winning. Maybe uh, he needed to king to e6. But I don't know, somehow I spent so much time okay. and I, I, I just thought that um, like in the game I will win somehow. So mm -hmm. this is the mistake as always, you know, and think, okay, the, you're so dominant here. But at the end of the day... How did it end? It? How did it end? Rook f6, rook f7, rook f4. Yeah, okay, here I played some just to gain some yes. uh, some minutes and then and, finally, and then I have H5. to play h5. So it seems that taking on h5 it's a draw. Okay. First of all. <laughs> okay. Uh, but not obvious, yeah? No, I thought that uh, this, this and this. Um, yeah, and then I wanted to play... So the idea is for black to activate his rook to get some counterplay. I'm not even sure what I wanted to play here anymore. But some, somehow I, I, I thought that I also have idea with rook d8, rook d2, mm -hmm. just in case to protect this pawn. But uh, it seems that it's uh, seems that it's a draw. Okay. Maybe but, not. But still difficult. Yeah. No, okay, it's difficult. Top players like you. Yeah, I, I, I'm. I didn't. I, I couldn't see the win, but I also couldn't see a clear draw for okay. him. But instead, he plays h5. Uh, I mean, rook f7. Yes. He... Yes, h6. Okay, that's on the idea for me. Rook f2, rook f7, and here, like shockingly, he shocking just, again. <laughs> uh, again. He just gave up in the position, which is lost. But really, not easy. I have to play. I think four or five only moves, and I had only three times. Mm. The last control, okay, with 30 seconds increment, but still. So, the way how it goes, you should play check. Okay, I would repeat first, like, to gain some yes, time. Yes. This, check, this, this, take. And here, it looks like the only winning move here is King G2. Oh. Don't ask me why. It wouldn't be my first choice. Yes. <laughs> King G2, this, and this. Okay. On, only like this and, and king, king f2. f2. I okay. still have no idea why. And finally, your h pawn is. Uh, and, and then not rook g7, what I wanted to play in the game all the time. And I thought at some moment I would just give the rook and uh, push my pawn yeah, so yeah. it will be queen after rook. No. Like after, let's say, I don't know why this move. It's rook h8 for some reason. Okay. okay. So it's so really, it really not not obvious and uh, yeah. no, not easier. And, uh, okay, but but thanks for explanations. I yeah. think we get it a bit better this weekend game of you yeah. too. And yeah, thanks for a great tournament of you. Um, what was about the last round? You played against Georg Meyer with the white pieces, and it was a quick yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, the point is that yesterday it was like in general difficult tournament with two rounds a day yes, and then the early morning. And yesterday I played like almost 10 hours against, you know, youngsters, they want your blood and <laughs> everything. So first I played this end game and the second game was also really difficult. End against game Vincent against, against Vincent. 
And okay, in the end, I could hold the end game. It was, it was actually really interesting in the end because I have on the 40th move, I find with like five seconds left on the clock, almost the almost um, only move knight mm -hmm. b1 in the end. And uh, I thought today I will wake up and see how my like physical and mental condition is, but I relaxed too much after yesterday okay. uh, games and then uh, somehow I couldn't find an energy to, like for the big fight today and I thought okay I will play this like safe variation with pawn up so at the end you cannot really win this. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but we are happy to have you here and hope to see you next year again and now we will watch the last games which okay. are Thanks okay. a lot, Daniel. Thank you.